Welcome to High Ground, my name is Tanner, and today we're going to be taking a look at the patch notes slash designer notes for Rainbow Six Siege's Year 7 Season 3, also known as Brutal Swarm. What I'm going to do is do a somewhat quick rundown in this video of the changes, and then probably in another video I'll do a more in-depth breakdown, so uh, do tune into that video if you want to see my, my opinions and just more discussion on the changes, and this one if you just want to see the, uh, see the changes themselves. So, okay, this came out yesterday, getting to it today, whatever, we're going to get past all of the information at the top again it will be covered in the other video okay so weapon balancing weapon recoil has it well it's probably the biggest focus of this patch along with normalizing the the attachments for a lot of guns which also comes down to to recoil so they're now separating the recoil from on, on console from pc and i believe there was some difference before some sort of multiplier or or something but now they're actually differentiating them and then on pc they're increasing the recoil of all assault rifles submachine guns light machine guns and machine pistols so pretty much all of the fully auto weapons so everything except for what snipers pistols shotguns and and dmrs and okay so any given recoil you'll probably want to just go to the the shooting range on on the test server now or the the live build once it actually goes live to check out how your favorite guns play or you can just use them in a match of course but uh, because the the changes aren't going to be fully consistent across the board it, there's no telling how any given gun will actually feel to you also uh hopefully this carries over from the test server but on the test server there is unlimited reserve ammo on all of the guns so in the live build you have to actually restock your ammo which is a little bit annoying and on the uh the test server again you don't have to you just have to you have to reload but uh you can reload infinite times without restocking the ammo which is cool okay so uh they they talk about it a little bit here it's sort of a case-by-case -case basis they talk they mention some of the high recoil and low recoil guns and maybe they'll be keeping those properties but again pretty much every gun is having the recoil change in some way on console specifically the recoil is being softened on these guns increased on these guns and i mean you can figure out which operators those belong to or you can watch the other video and i'll probably just tell you <laughs> you probably know or don't care whatever recoil attachments so they are again as i said before sort of normalizing access to most of this stuff and and reducing access on a couple things we'll get to there in a second compensator being added on all of these guns these are pretty much just light machine guns and submachine guns that for some reason didn't have access to a compensator if you're not aware compensator will reduce your left right recoil flash hider will reduce your vertical recoil and muzzle brake will speed up the recenter time so uh, it'll take less time for the gun to return to the the uh, the original position after you stop firing and flash hider being reduced from all of these dmrs be it where muzzle brake is generally just the the better option and then flash hider being added to frost submachine gun muzzle brake being added to a bunch of guns here i think generally flash or compensator are the is the better option over muzzle brake but some people do enjoy using it and then vertical grip being added to a handful of guns nomads arx now getting it i think the ak still doesn't have it so a little bit weird there but it should be the arx should feel much better to use on nomad generally a pretty enjoyable gun to use overall also being added to frost gun which only had the angle grip being added to glass i think that's a fairly significant buff to glass the recoil was a bit unruly on that gun should be brought in line a little bit more and then the t5 already a quite excellent gun the uh, vertical grip being added here more gameplay options so the the extended barrel also getting more access but the suppressor change is the biggest thing here Redu remove damage reduction so there is now no penalty to using a suppressor other than giving up another attachment so you won't be able to reduce your recoil with something like a flash hider but you will have no tracers and your gun will be quieter and the no tracer thing is the definitely the most significant thing suppressor should be pretty powerful going forward and if you can manage the recoil on the gun without uh, another attachment i would probably opt for a suppressor in most cases extended barrel not very useful but i mean maybe if you want to use it you can it's just not in that important in a one-shot headshot game like this so a ton of guns uh, gaining the the extended barrel and then angled grip also uh, not that good of attachment anymore after the nerf it used to be i think a 40 percent reduction to aim down sights time and that being a you know a buff a buff to the speed in which you would aim down sights it's now only like 20 percent, so it got like cut in half it's not that good compared to the benefit offered by a, a vertical grip but if you can really manage the recoil well then i mean feel free to use it and all of these guns now have access to it and then laser sight not that good i mean sometimes people use it on shotguns sometimes even other stuff but just uh, because it gives away your position in a lot of cases not that desirable of an attachment weapon sights are being largely normalized in the way that any if you have access to any 
high magnification scope, any magnification below that you'll gain access to. So if a gun for some reason only had access to an ACOG and the 1.0, because pretty much every gun has access to every 1.0 scope anymore, maybe a couple exceptions, not 100% sure, but right, if it only had the ACOG as far as magnified scopes go, it will now have the 2.0 and the 1.5 as well. So tons of guns gaining the 1.5 and then some guns also gaining the 2.0. And then we also, and there's a ton of them here, feel free to just glance at uh, the guns if any, any you enjoy using or gaining them. I think the most notable is, um, I mean, maybe some of the really popular assault rifles Sophia's m762 we'll see if it's good again after the recoil changes but it's gaining it thatcher's l85 thermites 556 a bunch of stuff like that and okay so they actually added some scopes removed a few scopes goyo's vector is getting 1.5 aces ak is losing the 2.0 but gaining the 1.5 yana's arx gaining the are losing the 1.5, but the G36 gaining the 1.5, Frost getting the 1.5 back, Pulse getting the 1.5, well, my and and Mute's MP5K is losing it, and, and even more than that, so feel free to take a look there as well. A couple of heartbreakers there, but uh, because so many are being added, I think it's largely a good thing. Gadget balancing, adding EMP impact grenades, so... This is, I mean, sort of a, a meta response to Thatcher being banned all the time. This is an alternative to Thatcher, also sort of an alternative to to Cali. Hopefully this uh, is just a good thing overall. It seems like it should be, even though some people aren't super on board with it. These eight operators are gaining the EMP impact grenade as a third secondary gadget option. So not losing one of their options, just gaining this. Uh, there is a, It has a 1.8 meter range, lasts for nine seconds. I believe you get two of them. It doesn't actually say here, but I think it's two. And uh, so... I mean, if it's just for one quick thing, you can just take it on one of these operators. Don't have to take the Thatcher. Thatcher's usually banned. Maybe he won't be banned all the time now because of this. And okay, so frag grenades have been extremely oppressive for quite some time. Uh, they're not nearly as effective in the hands of lower ranked players, but if you play a very high ranked or watch pro play, frag grenades are very prominent. And uh, they're being they're being made less effective so reduced range to 3.6 meters it was five meters or more so this doesn't quite hit zero on the graph i'm not sure where it ended exactly but now it's and this looks like 3.5 but i guess it's 3.6 meters um they are becoming less lethal to people to to operators overall 150 damage was their their maximum and usually operator health lies around here between 100 and 125 and you can see uh, the orange curve is the new one and the blue one's the old one the the radius where it's going to kill you is a little bit smaller it's not super massive in the change there but what is pretty big is again where it hits zero so this is where it's going to destroy bulletproof gadgets if you do any explosive damage it's going to blow up a, a deployable shield or maestro's evil eye or malusi's banshee any of that stuff you might you got to be much more precise now with the with the frag grenades this this is a change that sort of came to i think Zofia's explosive and ash's explosive a little while ago now also coming to frag grenades so do keep that in mind hard breach charge this mostly to come mostly come to the play with the, the secondary emp it just takes one fewer one, one less second to to detonate and so to make the the window of opportunity a little bit larger when used with the emp this is i mean mostly to, ge geared towards uh, casual players and then operator bouncing fuse also getting a third secondary gadget in the form of smoke grenades that makes nine operators and we'll actually see a tenth in a minute increased pellets trail uh, pellets trail visibility so a little bit of a nerf i guess to fuse it just makes it so if somebody if you are being fused then it's a little bit easier to see where they're going and maybe avoid them but also above here reduced drilling time to two seconds from three seconds and that's the uh, the time it takes to start actually going off through a through a hard surface i don't think it applies at all to to soft surfaces and then cali so it feels like cali needs a change other than uh well a buff to her gadget but what that is what she's getting here charges up to four from three i think it's a generally very good gadget it is a little bit iffy to clear kaid claws when they're in certain positions but generally i think a pretty good gadget uh but without any throwable secondary gadgets and without a full auto or even a dmr primary it's a little bit brutal to run it uh reduced recoil and increased recenter time uh, camera recovery time on the sniper is nice usually if you miss the first shot you're gonna lose the engagement anyway but that's uh, still a nice quality of life change i like to see her get again maybe smokes or flashes in the future or or maybe even uh, a DMR option to run, but okay, whatever. I guess a little bit of a buff to Cali, who is going to be left even further in the dust now with the EMP secondary gadget being added. Glass getting a Claymore. Claymores aren't very good. I guess you get two of them now, and they, they fit with his play style, but giving up frags or smokes just seems like something you would not do. But if you really want to, you can. Capital getting a Gon 6. I think a very much overlooked operator. One of the probably, maybe even the most left on attacker in the game. Very good, just... Um, the guns shoot kind of slow and they're not 
the gadget's not the most lethal. Yes, you can kill people with a fire, but it's not as lethal as like a frag grenade or generally useful as something like Zofia's launcher or whatever. So uh, people in, in pub games usually don't take him too much, but this is just a nice little buff. Yana losing the Gon 6, and Yana was generally a pretty overtuned operator, not so not as much as Finca, but perhaps uh, you, you might even say like the second best attacker. If Finca didn't exist, might even have been the best attacker with the frags and the Gon 6 and the gadget and the solid guns. But uh, the losing the 1.5 on the ARX and losing the Gon 6, maybe a little bit less comfortable and overtuned operator to use but still pretty solid finca losing the frags getting smoke smokes are still good but frags are, are even with the uh, with the nerf i think still going to be king so finca more recoil on her guns and losing the frag grenades not as overtuned anymore hopefully she won't be the operator in the meta anymore maybe she'll still be a force we'll have to see because that gadget is still pretty still pretty good Maverick also losing frag grenades. So two operators losing frag grenades, nobody gaining it. So now we're down to only like four or five ops. It's like Sledge, Nook, uh, Glaz, and oh, Yana, yeah, huh? Uh, neither of these are gonna have frags. It's probably good for the meta, we'll have to see. Uh, a big a big nerf to Maverick though overall. Stun grenade is probably the, the second most desirable gadget, but he is not going to be nearly as useful. He's gonna be even more of a niche pick than he already was. I mean, the frag grenades made him pretty universally good, along with being a three speed with a good gun, but uh, you know, sometimes the gadget's really good and sometimes the gadget's like pretty good you know something you don't always need it though and then buck uh, adding a uh, gone six nice little change he lost the frag grenades a long time ago and over time him and sledge are on much more level of a playing field uh sledge lost the SMG, smg 11 but he still has the frags buck has the gone six uh his gun is maybe it's maybe it's better i guess it's not as easy to use but statistically i suppose it is better than sledges uh, buck can do destruction from below he also has access to a lethal a very lethal close range weapon in the skeleton case so there are trade-offs there and i guess just a nice little quality of life change to buck and for the attackers overall i think uh, he was a very good op before and is i mean now even better okay and so that does it for the changes again do tune in to the the follow-up video to this if you want to see more in-depth talk about all the changes because there is so much to talk about so all right with all of that being said i will catch you guys in the next video